so these are the things that uh, i downloaded and uh, this is this selenium jar files i'm going to extract these jar files and this is the web driver i'm going to extract it as well Here is the application that we are creating. I want you to copy this in main folder of your application. And now we just have to um, set system property system dot set property. and this property is web driver dot chrome dot driver and uh, second is the actual name of uh, this chrome driver chrome driver dot exe okay we need to include all of the jar files in our project we need to include rest facebook library and uh, we need to include java jar files selenium jar files sorry these are the main jar files and uh, these are the de dependency of these two jar files so you so we're gonna include all of these jar files and now click on ok We can use this driver object to open this authentic gate URL in user's web browser, right? And uh, after that, we are going to listen. Uh, we we will continuously check. Uh, the URL of uh, the web browser and uh, we will see that if user is on Facebook that means the user is uh, currently in the process of uh, authenticating our application and if user uh, leave Facebook that means uh, user have access token okay so that's what we are going to do we are going to uh, see that if If driver if driver dot get current URL dot contains and we're gonna simply say that if browser contain facebook.com that means a user is now on Facebook uh, if user is not on Facebook that means user is on our website and uh, it has access token in the URL of our website and we can simply fetch that URL
ओके एक्चुअली वट वी आर सेंग इज दैट मैच दिस पैटर्न एंड वी आर सेविंग दिस पैटर्न इन आर फर्स्ट ग्रुप ऑफ रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन एंड वी आर जस्ट राइटिंग दैट एक्सप्रेशन अगेन इन दिस यू आर एल एंड इट विल रिटर्न एक्सेस टोकन ओके एंड आफ्टर दैट वी हैव आर एक्सेस टोकन एंड वी कैन जस्ट सिंपली क्लोज इट ओके वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू क्लोज यूजर्स वेब ब्राउजर by calling this function and after that uh, we can simply use the success token that we just fetch using facebook client and we will pass access token in facebook client object and after that uh, we will use user uh facebook client dot fetch object okay first parameter is the endpoint and uh, the second parameter is actual type of data that this request will return okay now we have our access to uh, sorry now we have our user we can just simply uh, display its name in our label label is message dot set text and let's get users get name like this so let's run it i think everything is fine and good to go okay we have our application up and running uh, we are going to click on this button and hopefully it will open web browser when we click on this button what happen here is it uh, create this url and uh, after that uh, it set property so that it can access uh, the actual web driver to uh, to create uh, this window for us okay and after that uh, it open this url that we specify here in users web browser and after that this loop is continuously running right because this is the uh, infinite loop and uh, it continuously running and is checking if user is on facebook or not now user is on facebook and uh, it will not do anything right you can see that uh, it's everything is in if statement it will not do anything but as soon as user uh sorry as soon as user login to our application facebook will get access token because we already um, authenticate our application facebook return me to my website with access token that means this condition will true and uh, we will read access token and uh, we will close users web browser and we use this access token to prove that uh, we are actually logged in so this is how you can authenticate your facebook API desktop application using Java. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like this video and uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos. Now I'm recording more tutorials and uh, I will upload more tutorials very soon. Take care.